Hello everyone and welcome. I am just getting uh, started here. I'm going to say hi in the chat just to get that started. And uh, we're going to do a little crystal heart healing here as well as these crystals are are available if any of them are calling to you um but really i just want to yeah we can do a little healing here and learn a little bit about crystals i wasn't planning to come on today but i don't know just like what i do i just uh get this guidance and then i do it so let me just share this to a couple of my pages well, I'm waiting for people to come on. And if you do come on, please say hi while I'm doing this. If you're uh, joining us today, we're going to do a little heart healing. It's just going to be a fun little informative discussion. And I think everybody could use a little heart clearing in their life. How's your heart feeling these days? How's your heart feeling right now? You know, put your hand on your heart and see how it feels. Like literally or just emotionally? Like does it feel heavy? Does it feel like you got some pressure going on? Or does it feel light? Does it feel happy? I mean, this is like a really good bookmarker, right? To know, like, do you, is your heart feeling happy? Because you know when your heart feels happy, right? And you know when your heart doesn't feel so happy. So where are you at right now? Um, How is it going for you? So I am just uh, sharing this to one more place and then we'll get started. If you're here, please say hi in the chat because I can't tell always who's here. And unfortunately, sometimes I don't see everybody's messages, so I'm hoping I will see them. Hi, Cindy. Yes, they are beautiful and they all have different energies. And actually, I was showing these the other night and the light is different when it's night with a regular light and it's different um, when it's day and there's like you know sunshine so I wanted to come on because I was actually showing these the other night and they just the light was not doing them justice these are just so gorgeous and they're so unique and different and I'm going to tell you why but they have that a translucent uh, aura, the aqua aura that they put on them. But what's different about these are, I noticed by looking at the crystal itself, that these are um, fluorites. And normally they don't put that coating on a aura crystal. Usually it's on like a clear quartz or a amethyst or a smoky quartz i mean it, there's no rule but i've just never seen them do it and you can see like with the sun this one see how it has the stripes in it that's that's the giveaway and it's got purple in it but you can see the rainbow colors and of course in person these are gonna be way nicer let me see, look at this in the sun See all the colors it's got in there, purple and blue. I'm talking about the actual crystal itself. The, the aqua aura, the aura coating, that is making it super shiny and then putting some translucent colors. But you can actually see the actual beautiful stone underneath it. It's just gorgeous. So this one has like a purple sheen to it. You can see the difference. This one has the green base to it. So this is a green fluorite, but then it has the coating. So 
then you're getting the other kind of translucent colors in there. Let's put it up to the light, see if we can get an even better shot. Not really. I think that's not good to go directly on there. But, oh my goodness, if you guys could see these in person. I wish I could. Uh, it looks better today than it did the other night with just a regular light. But you can see. And you can see the depth. Like, if you could see this in person, you can see into the crystal. It's not like the... The coating, that's what I like about the coating. It's so sheen and sheer and translucent. It's like God energy like that. Translucent light. Like, look how gorgeous. I guess it's better when they're on the table, actually. So you can actually see the depth of those crystals. So anyway, what we're doing here uh, is... I'm going to talk about these crystals. They're actually all for sale, but I want to talk about some heart healing and do some heart healing with you guys. I mean, why not? Uh, is there another word? Is there another saying besides kill two birds with one stone? <laughs> I don't like to say that, but that's what I, I want to say. Like, we can do multiple things. This hair is just gorgeous. They're, they are truly gorgeous. They're just like singing these Rhodes Quartz, and um, I love these. These are Shiva shells, and they're carved into hearts. Usually, they're just circles, and they're actual shells, and, um, and they're also called mermaid money, and they give you good luck, but their energy is so soothing and beautiful and calming, uh, I love the energy of these, and plus they have the spiral, like how magical is that? And then they're white, like that's divine light right there. So let me just start with this. When I talk about these and the heart healing and the properties and everything, I want you to know that this is like the energy that I tune into. So... It's not like I don't base my stuff on books and what other people say. And there's nothing wrong with that. When I teach psychic development and intuition development, I tell, I, I'll give people like, you know, you can look at uh, the meanings for these colors. So if somebody's learning how to see an aura, which I teach people how to do, it's very easy to see auras. Um, I'll tell them, you know, look at this, like these different colors, and this is the meanings that certain people have made up. And I'll say, you can look at those colors and see, like, you know, as an example, because I always tell people to look at words, like lots of words, so they can get their own descriptive feelings and words. Like, a lot of times when I'm doing my own healing, I really do my best to, you know, hold, you know, okay, for your heart, put your hand on your heart and just ask yourself, like, when you put your hand on your heart, close your eyes. And when you close your eyes, breathe deep. And then when you close your eyes, you go inside. When you open your eyes, you go to the world outside of you. And as you know, when you're inside, you're touching yourself. You're touching your soul. So just put your hand on your heart, close your eyes, and take some nice deep breaths and sink deep into your heart. Like if you could go inside your heart and really ask it, how are you feeling today? Like really, how, how are you? And then just be quiet and feel. And you might get a response by thinking a word or an emotion or a thought. Or you might just feel emotional. You might bring up tears. You might bring up laughter, you know. And the thing is, when you don't really stop to tune in and do that, you're not communicating with your heart like you you could be so sad inside and if you have people around you that are making you laugh or you're joking or you're drinking wine or you're 
whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter what you're doing, walking, whatever, sleeping, watching a movie, you're distracting yourself from what's really going on deep in your heart. And that's okay. I mean, you know, we're human. We get distracted. We do that. But it's also good to stop and say, you know what, I need to check in with myself and see how I'm going. Because if there's some sadness in there, there's some heaviness in there, there's some hurt in there. It's going to bring your energy down. And it's actually going to bring more situations to you that will feel sad, that will feel hurt. Like you'll attract more of what you're vibrating. And we're just talking about the heart, but this is for the whole body. But we're talking about the heart because that's that's your heart center. That's the center of your inner personal universe. Like that is like the main hub. And how you are inside your heart is going to be how you are going to be in your in your everyday life on the things you manifest or don't manifest and the relationships you have or don't have in the security you feel or the fears or the sickness or the health. It all stems in the heart. I was just watching this video the other day and they were talking about how you age and the more you worry and the more you know that you don't feel good the more you're aging faster and the more at peace you can be the more you can just go with the flow and be in acceptance and you know breathe and I'm finding myself rubbing my heart right now just soothing yourself and choosing to be around people that are also like this. It's not always easy, but you can always strive for it. At least if you know, you can do an assessment and decide what would be better. But the more you could do that, the longer your life would be. And these people that they were showing on here were like 250 years old, 150 years old. like, And still with teeth and hair and still like physically moving around and doing stuff so that's like huge your heart is your hub of your life and your heart is what is going to determine how the rest of your body is either healthy or not healthy or you know the quality of your life so just putting your hand on your heart and closing your eyes and taking a deep breath. And every time you take a breath, just feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper into your heart. And imagine yourself inside your heart and ask, what's going on in my heart right now? Like, how am I doing? I'm going to take a minute to stop and... <sighs> Do you need to release some heavy breaths to... Let go of some heavy energy to move the energy in your heart. Does it feel kind of heavy and stuck? Or does it feel open and light and full of laughter? Because that's a good thing too. Everything's possible. Everybody's different. But every time you take in that deep breath, just tell your heart, like, I love you. And I acknowledge you. And I care about you. You're like the most important thing to me in my life because you are my hub, my life force, my the center of all that I am. And sometimes in life we get so busy and caught up on so much BS that we just don't even pay attention. Your heart's just sitting there waiting for you. And your heart will keep working and it will keep working hard, but sometimes it's working with a lot more tenseness than because it's just not being attended to. So just taking a deep breath and let out the deepest breath. And really just come back to yourself, come back to your heart. And remember every time you close your eyes and put your hand on your heart and sink take deep breaths and sink deeper into your heart 
You're coming home to yourself. It's a way of letting go of the world around you that's distracting you with all the whatever. And coming back to yourself is what really matters because when you can come back to your heart and feel grounded in your space and know what's going on in your heart and give yourself what you need, even if it's just a kind word, even if it's five minutes of, hey, I'm acknowledging you, I love you, thank you. Thank you for keeping me alive. Thank you for sharing the emotions that I'm feeling in my body. Thank you for helping me express my love to myself and others in the world. Like, it's important. I remember I was going for some tests, a bunch of heart tests years ago, and I always knew that all of your organs actually sing a song. Like, they actually, all your organs are different they're all singing their own song and I knew that that I went to get this ultrasound and the lady goes do you want to hear your your heart um what your heart sounds like and I was like amazed because I didn't know that I'd actually be able to hear that I mean I always knew that that's what was happening like a symphony inside your body so I was like yes and I actually got to hear my heart sing and it was like the most profound, touching experience ever. I felt so connected to my heart. It made me so happy to hear it singing and what that sounded like. So if you think about if all your organs are singing and one of them's distressed or two of them is distressed or distressed or your whole body is distressed because you don't take care of your energy, you don't get healings, you don't stop and check in, you don't maybe eat the healthiest, like whatever it is. <sighs> Imagine like, you know, some of them are singing, you know, when they're healthy and others are more distressed. They're hearing each other and imagine how they start reacting like even if you were in a room with different people and they were all expressing different emotions you start feeling it because you're an emotional being you pick up on the emotions so if somebody if a bunch of people are super sad you're going to start feeling sad so if you're you have a bunch of organs that are crying sadness your whole body starts vibrating that sadness and then your health is affected and your relationships are affected and your happiness is affected it it all matters so, yeah, that's just, um, you know, I wanted to come here and talk about the heart and healing and at the same time show you some awesome heart crystals that I have. And if any of them call to you, you know, you can even purchase them. These are all for sale, actually. So, um, yeah, just keep your hand on your heart. And if you want to sit here and keep your eyes closed the whole time and just receive the healing from from the words and the guidance and the crystals. We'll do that. Before I came on, I I felt Archangel Gabriel, the angel of communication, come. And I said, awesome. I would love for you to speak through me so whoever's on here can hear and feel and heal. So we have some powerful angels here. So we started with these earlier. I was just saying I'm getting chills. When I get chills, it's the angels confirming. I was talking, um, I, the other night I went live showing, I have a lot of other crystals, but I'm just doing hearts today. Um, and I was trying to show these that they're so magnificent, but the light wasn't doing them justice. And still the light isn't doing them. If you could see any of these hearts in person, they're way, way nicer. But what I love about these is you can see that the they're coated with that aura, um, aqua aura. And so what is aqua aura? See how it's so shiny and kind of translucent? Well, it has all the rainbow colors. If you can see this in person, it's not showing up that great on this um, phone, but I was trying to do it in the daylight because at night it definitely isn't showing up. But what I love about it is you can see right through to the natural crystal, which is fluorite, which is very unusual that they would do this coat, this coating on there. Um, but it's such a gorgeous crystal and you can see the different colors in the crystals, purple, and I see some blues and some green in there. Um, and, and then the translucent, like glossy colors, just magnificent. 
it's just um just this piece is just gorgeous and it's pretty big um so this is the biggest one i have this is a, a rose quartz the sun is now coming through so it's not messing up my picture here so you can see the size next obviously it's not as big as that but and then i guess these are the next sizes that are like those are the biggest ones but compared to this giant this one's so big and what I love about this rose quartz one is I love rose quartz hearts I have my own very large rose quartz heart um, it has it's kind of has like some glimmery uh, sparkles in it not sparkles but it it glimmers it has some sheen in it where a lot of rose quartz doesn't have that this is a beautiful piece and the price is amazing forty four dollars is so cheap so what i would do with this what i do with my big huge rose quartz is i put it right on my heart chakra right on my chest and this is a rose quartz is a stone of love love and healing and i just meditate with it I'll lay down and I'll put it on my chest and let the love energy just connect with my heart and my soul you know I access you can access your heart and your soul through your heart chakra on your chest and the more you can breathe and, and sink in deeper and deeper with your eyes closed the more you can allow energy yourself to open to the energies because if you're clogged up if you've got worries or fears or upsets or not happy those are blocks so it's kind of hard for the energies to get through so if you can just breathe and just you know relax and close your eyes and just connect with yourself and say hello to yourself hello to my heart hello to my soul hello like, let's just be together right now. Everything else can just melt away for that moment. And so when you open your energy, the rose quartz love can really just sink and um, infuse into your heart chakra. And it's just a beautiful, loving stone. And I actually have one when my, my baby sister passed away uh, three years ago and I bought one for her. I mean, it's it's mine, obviously, but that's my remembrance of, <clears throat> you know, that love I have for her. And um, it's just really healing. So um, that's what I would do with that. Uh, the smaller rose quartz, and I have, sometimes I like to, so there's all different sizes, little ones kind of medium a little bit bigger and thicker um so I like to put them in my pocket and walk around with them or just hold them in my hand like I might if if I have smaller ones you know I might put I might grab like one of these um and you know one of these and just carry them around with me or just meditate with them in my hands so um yeah so you can have that essence you can give these to people if you love them and you want to say you know what i just want you to know i love you and and just pass the love on and these are all different prices like this is the smallest one it's five dollars and then they're just around five to thirteen dollars i think so this one's this one's really nice it's not too big not too small it's a nice thick size so yeah all different price ranges just depending on the size so just loving heart energy here and um you know the archangel that i really feel when i look at these rose quartz i feel a lot of archangel jophiel because archangel jophiel whenever i'm having like a really like a bad day or a negative attitude or just want to change my attitude to feel better i always say archangel jophiel help me to see the love in everyone and everything around me and i say it three times and within 15 minutes i'm oh i 
I shift and I always feel better. It works every time. I've been doing it for over 20 years. And I just feel that with her. And, and actually, like, I really associate her with, you know, get outside. Put your feet on the grass and the sand and the water, on the mud, even on the concrete. It feels so good to put your bare feet on the ground. I love walking around barefoot, inside and outside. In fact, I usually uh, forget to put on shoes when I'm walking out the door. And uh, she, she, you know, is associated with nature and flowers. Like, just stop and breathe and, and just feel yourself lighten up and come back to a place of just feeling love for life, love for even the smallest things, like... I can see beauty in everything. Like I always say, even if you saw a field of weeds, find that one thing that you can say, oh, that's beautiful. And all of a sudden, you'll just start seeing all these beautiful things around where you didn't notice anything but weeds before. So that's the rose quartz. Um, let me see. One second. I'm going to look at something that I have here. Sorry, just take a breather. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go back to here because I showed this one and then I wanted to show you the green one. I showed it early, but you may have come in later. And this is a green fluorite inside, but see how it has the sheen with the purple on it? Like you're going to get all the rainbow colors in there. It just feels like with fluorite, for me, fluorite is such a gentle stone. It's like uh, what I'm hearing is it's a calming stone. It's a gentle stone. It helps you to just like if you breathe, you bring flow into your life. It hel it's just light. It's a light stone. It's just like this crystalline, pure, light, um, soothing stone, crystal, whatever you want to call it. So this one has the purple and blue in it, and this one, and I'm not talking about the sheen. The sheen is the, both, the same on both. I'm talking about the actual crystal. This one is green. So green is healing. Green is for the heart chakra. You can put that one on your heart as well. So the green color is the heart chakra color. This one kind of, it's like a violet light. It just keeps feeling like it connects me to heaven. Like if you could like assign like, like if that energy right there just feels so crystalline and pure and heavenly and joyful and transcendent and enlightened, um, that's what that one really feels to me when I, when I connect with it. And um, this one's healing, but also connected to the divine because all the translucent light that has been incorporated in it, the translucent light of the divine highest power. It's beautiful. Okay, so then we have the golden healers. So I only have two of those left. They're pretty big. It's almost the same size. Oh, not as not quite, but pretty close to the same size. Thicker. It's thicker than this is flatter than this. And so the golden healer is special. And I always say these are great for people that do healings, people that are healers. Um, but what is a healer? So there's people who are healers that call themselves healers, um, do healings. I do healings on people. Um, there's people that are healers that what they do is pray for people. There's people that like to pray for people all the time. There's people that like to, um, be compassionate and caring and they are, you know, empathetic to other people, they're caring about other people, those are healers too. So healing doesn't mean like you just do like a healing session. Yes, it is that. But a lot of people who are sensitive, caring people 
are healers. They're here. They may not realize that they're helping people hugely. They're just good people that care about people. Those are healers. So anybody who cares about other people, what I love about the golden healers are, I feel like this, that golden light, see it's like golden white. And I always, in my meditations, I like to say, feel the golden white sparkly light coming down from creator, swirling through your crown chakra, clearing your crown chakra, your connection to your highest power swirling down through your brain, clearing your brain, clearing your sixth chakra, that's your third eye, swirling down into your throat chakra, clearing your throat chakra so you can communicate with yourself and others with compassion and respect and love, and then continuing to come down and swirl and cleanse through your heart chakra, clearing your heart chakra and then down into your third chakra, your solar plexus, clearing your, your ability to feel your personal power, to feel safe and balanced, to emanate the amazing person you are, being in your own power, not in a pushy way, but just taking your space and knowing that you're important and you're needed. And then letting that golden white sparkly light go down and clear your second chakra, your sacral chakra, clearing your your um, your sexual sexuality, your creativity, your ability to co-create, whether that's co-creating humans or co-creating manifesting with the divine. So it's a center of creation and passion, just really clearing that inner area. And then swirling down and clearing your first chakra, your earthly needs, your, your stability, your safety, your presence. And then swirling through your whole body, clearing it, letting that swirl get larger and larger around you into your aura where your emotional body can get cleared, your mental body, your spiritual body and expanding out all the way around you into your home, clearing it, into your city, your country, the world, and into infinity, and grounding all the way to the core of the earth at the same time. So this is what this golden healer reminds you to be connected to the highest power of divine, golden white sparkly light that will clear you and uplift your vibration and help you to be a clear channel for those that you help in the world around you. Because you can only help people if you're clear, with, if you take care of your energy, if you take care of your thoughts and your emotions and your connection to your highest power, you're gonna be of much better use to yourself and others. So these golden healers, that's what I feel when I connect with this energy. So I have this one, and it's 24, and then I have a, a little bit smaller one, and it's 18. Um, definitely a beautiful tool for anybody who connects with other people and cares, and whether it's prayers or healing or inspiration, any of those things. So then we have the Labradorite, and these are very special. So they have a lot of flash. If you don't know what they are, um, like look at the flash on this. So this one has a lot. It's usually a flash of blue, purple, which is purple is more rare, but blue and gold, you can see some of the different colors in there. This one actually flashes a lot more than that. Um, it's just, you know, you got to get it right in the light. So there's gold here. So what I love about the Labradorite is it has such a high frequency. It's very space-like. To me, it's a, a connection to the cosmos. It's super powerful. It'll up your vibration and your energy. This one has a lot of gold flash. And these flash a lot more than this. It's just the light. So see all that gold flashing? It's got a lot of gold flash. 
So that's a lot of, that's, gold is a super high vibration. So being that this stone is very connected to the higher vibrational cosmic energy, along with the flashy gold and even the blue, um, really adds dimension. So you're act accessing all kinds of dimensions at one time utilizing this stone it reminds me it's different than moldavite definitely different in all ways and moldavite definitely has a very high frequency and you need to use that in moderation but also this one i i would put in that group use in moderation not in this not that it's bad or scary but just know that you know what when you start raising your vibration and being high higher vibrational more often you're going to start shedding your stuff you're going to start letting go of old energy that feels that are blocks that don't feel good and when those start leaving your space you might have a few cries or memories and that's not a bad thing it's better out than in let that stuff go when you start using these kind of tools you're going to start releasing those lower energies that are getting in your way that are causing you problems so it's okay to have a day that you feel sad or feel low, as long as you're working on your energy to let it go, not hold on to it and spin in it and, and then just create more and bury it back inside. No, let it go. Say, I see you. Thank you for leaving. I'm so glad you're leaving. This is a, a small one and it has, a, it has a, a lot of flash too. It's got gold and purple in it can't see it that well in this light but I've seen it many times so I can tell you that it does it's a smaller one and there is flash back here you're just not seeing it in this light so that's you know a nice small one that you put in your pocket I actually collect hearts if you guys saw how many crystal hearts I'd have you'd laugh I have like overflowing hearts I love to collect hearts okay we saw all three of these and then this is the like these two are almost the same size. This one's just thicker, like it's pretty thick. And this one's thinner, although it's still thick, but it's thinner and wider. But this one has the purple in it, but it's pretty much at the top. Do you see it? So it's hard to find the purple ones, but it flashes all the way across. It's just hard to see in this light. But I mean, I've done, I've shown these a few times now, so I know where, it, where the flash is. It's a lot at the top area and not so much down here, but that doesn't mean anything. It still carries that amazing energy. And I just love the purple flash. The purple is like crown chakra, like you're going to go for a ride. Okay. So that one's 15. This one that had a lot of blue and gold in it. This one's pretty cool. Is 16. And then this one with all the gold. This one is a gold flashy guy. Lots of gold. Like if you saw this in other light, there's tons of fla gold flash. The whole thing lights up. It's only 12. These are really good prices, you guys. This is very low prices for these. And this one's only eight, I think. Yeah. So that's that. And then back to the uh, Shiva shells, which are carved into hearts. I should show you my other Shiva shells because they're just round. Well, let me take you. I'll take you on a little field trip. I'm kind of stuck in here. Um, I'll show you how the other Shiva shells usually look. So here they are. So normally they're just round like this. I never saw them in, in the heart form. Those are the hearts that I kept because of course I collect hearts. So they're normally like this. So these are super special. And here's some of my hearts. This is kind of my, see my golden healer. This is kind of my overflow of hearts. Let's see, where else do I have? I have that heart. I have a lot of hearts. I have hearts in my bedroom too, but I'll show you. Um, 
I have my hearts. Okay, so this is full. So many hearts in there. There's so many hearts. And then I got this heart rock at the top of one of the, um, in Peru. I couldn't believe it. It's an area where there's like, God, how can I describe it shortly? It's way at the top of this. You have to climb to get there. And there's an area that um, has a connection proof of Atlantis and Egypt. And you don't know how that's totally possible. And I remember I was sitting up there by myself and I was just like missing somebody in particular. And I turned to my left and here was this green heart. And I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. That was amazing. So I got that and then I have hearts down here. There's a bunch of hearts in there and then other bigger hearts here. That's a big heart. And then I got a bunch of hearts in my room. Oh, I also have these hearts. So yeah, I got a lot of hearts. I don't think I have any hearts up here. No hearts up there. But yeah, um, so that's, um, I just wanted to show you how the Shiva hearts usually look. And, okay, so I was saying at the beginning of this that the these just feel so pure and calming. The feel of these are amazing. There's the back of the shell, they're so pretty. And they're just so smooth and so soothing. And they just feel like, I mean, they're white with a spiral, for goodness sake. So they're, they're grounding because they, they're actually shells from the ocean, but you feel a fluid mo movement to them. And you feel a connection to the divine, that spiral, that white, translucent white color. So... Um, they're really pretty on the back too. So these are also, they're called Shiva shells, but they're also called mermaid money, which I think is cool. I love calling them mermaid money. Um, and they help, um, they give you good luck as well. As, I mean, just the whole symbology of this whole thing with the white and the spiral and the heart, purity, calm, connection, flowing. I'm getting dizzy with these crystals. I'm getting high off them, just tuning in with their energy. When you like acknowledge crystals and you're like tapping into their energy, they like sing back to you. They like bring a, a frequency back to you. Like they're communicating. They like you're talking about them and they're like, oh, like just sending their frequency back to you. It's gorgeous. So I hope that was helpful for you guys that um, you got some clearing today. We did heart, heart. Um, if you missed the beginning, definitely go back and listen. And uh, we even cleared the other chakras in our emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies, our homes, our countries, our planet, infinity. We did it all. And if you're interested in any of these, if any of these gorgeous babies are calling you, just send me a message. Thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.